Leslie with the plaidpoodle.com. Thanks for joining me today. Today I'm going to show you this cute, adorable little um, Christmas tree that I made out of um, wine corks and uh, designer series paper. And I did not drink all this wine. I'm kind of a teetotaler. I'll have a glass now and then, but um, <laughs> you can buy these on Amazon in different quantities. Um, and so I had bought a big, big package because I'm part participating in a craft fair this weekend. And so I was making these for my craft fair, but these would be so fun for gifts for family and friends, um, home decor just to set around your house. Um, and so I'm gonna show you quickly how I did it. Now, just for the sake of time, I went ahead and um, hot glued my um, corks together and it's just five on the bottom, four, three, two, one. You're making a pyramid and I used hot glue. You could make a smaller tree, you see like that, and do four, three, two, one. And I thought that would be adorable to have a taller tree with two of the smaller trees around and make a little, um, you know, a little vignette. Then I took some designer series paper and I took the um, Quilted Christmas six by six designer series paper. It comes in six by six sheets, double sided. It coordinates, it coordinates beautifully with, um, I think it's the Christmas quilt uh, stamp set and dies. Um, but anyway, I had several scraps left after making cards in one of my classes. So I just used the scraps and punched out 15 circles. But bef um, before I did that, I, I wanted my corks to age a little bit because they, they look brand new. So I took some early espresso ink and um, a Stampin' Sponge, and let me give you a tip on that. Our Stampin' Sponges come like this, and I cut them in fours or sixes, and then I use the little, um, I think it's the tabs, the tabs punch. I'll put that in my notes, but um, that way I never have to wash it, and I, I staple a little piece, that tab, I punch it out of the early espresso or whatever color, and after I've cut my stamp into four or six little, triangles like a pie, um, I staple a piece of the um, coordinating cardstock to that so I don't get my fingers too awfully um, dark or stained, um, although I don't mind getting my fingers stained. I love it. Okay, so what I did, because I wanted to age the corks a little bit, um, just to make it faster because the corks are a little porous, I I squeezed my stamp set like I'm going to watercolor or use this to watercolor and then I um, picked up the ink and I just rubbed the the corks especially the edges I, I didn't do the backs with the the ink you know there's no science and it's not not perfection and then I after I had punched out 15 little circles with the three-quarter inch inch punch now they're tiny so it was hard not to get my hands stained I went to church last night with some stained fingers but look it's it's off this morning so and then I did want them to be aged a little bit so I I did um, sponge the edges of those as well I wanted it to have a little aged vintage look okay after I did that I mean, if you do these in um, kind of a assembly line, glue all your corks together, punch all your punches, that's how I did it to make several for my craft fair. If you're just making one or two, it's not a big deal, but um, it goes pretty quickly. Um, I added the little um, snowflake and I cut one snowflake out of the silver glimmer paper and one snowflake out of real red cardstock and I use the snowflake die from the trim your stockings thinlets um, I love that set because it makes a little pillow box I've been making lots of pillow box gift card holders with those thinlets and then the star up here is from the mini treat bags thinlets um, so that's how I did that and then all I did was 
I used some Stampin' Dimensionals. To put, I used a mini Stampin' Dimensional, to remind myself, because I did these last night, um, to attach the, the, the snowflake, um, the glimmer paper snowflake to the, and then I all, kind of, um, you know, off-centered them from each other. And then I used a regular um, Stampin' Dimensional because it's big enough back here to hide it. Um, whoops. And I placed that right in the corner of my tree. Now, I, if you'll notice, I've got some musical note paper there. That, I did use the Quilted Christmas 6x6 DSP, but I also took a couple of, I just like that, those, those fun um, musical notes and uh, Christmas carols, and I wanted to throw a couple of those on my tree, so I did use that, but that, you wouldn't need two different kinds of DSP to do this, and you can use all kinds of scraps. Okay, the, to get the um, star, I used, 18 gauge stem wire and I poked a little hole in the top of my tree with my um, paper piercer just kind of a little towards the front this kind of reminds me of a like a little Charlie Brown Christmas doesn't the star on the Charlie Brown Christmas kind of hang over but I start I start a little hole just to make it easier to push the wire through. The wire will push through on its own. And then I kind of curled it around. I didn't want it kinky. I just wanted it to look like the star was so heavy, you know, that it was that it was dragging the and because I there was no science to it. I didn't measure it. I just eyeballed it and I used a little pay, um, a little um, wire snip. I think this is for jewelry wire, but it works. There we go. So that was the hardest part, was just um, cutting that wire. And I think if you have a nice pair of utility scissors, scissors probably would cut this wire too. Okay, then to put my star, oh, I forgot one thing. I also cut out a whisper white um, star to put on the backing just to make it finished and cute. And what I did was, I hot glued that white star onto the stem. Like I say, this is the white star onto the stem. Then I used some multi-purpose glue and glued my silver star on top of that. And then I made a ribbon with um, the real red 1 8 inch um, solid ribbon that's in the holiday catalog right now and also I just made a double bow I used the whisper white sheer ribbon that's in the annual catalog right now and um, you could glue dot it right there I think I had my glue gun out so I just glue gunned it on there um, but a glue dot would work perfectly but that's it really went together quickly and I'm just so happy with the results um, I hope you enjoy it, and um, I would love to see create your creations. Go to my Facebook page, um, facebook.com slash the plaid poodle, and, and post a picture if you do make this project. I would love to see your, um, your samples. Um, anyway, thanks for joining me today, and um, we'll talk soon. Happy stamping. Bye-bye.